EA Sports. It's in the game. EA Sports. It's in the game. It's in the game. It's in the game. EA Sports. It's in the game. NCAA Football 2003. Sanford Stadium in Athens, the site for this incredible college football matchup. And it's going to be a hot one out here for today's game between the Florida Gators and the Georgia Bulldogs. And here come the Bulldogs. Also known in college football as the world's largest outdoor cocktail party. Hi again, everybody. I'm Brad Nessler here along with Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreet. And we are elated to bring you this heated rivalry. Kirk, how do you see this one? This really looks like a deadlock. This could go to either team. Well, this one's going to come down to whoever can make the big play. Florida may not be up to the task of slowing down this ground attack and this running back. I look for him to have a big game on the ground. In fact, Lee, I think his ability to run the football today will lead them to victory. Let me tell you something. Florida has the ability to run the football against this defense. I agree it'll be a close ball game, but if they can establish a running game early, Kirk, I think they'll get the W. Thanks, guys. Let's head down to the field. The two teams are lined up for the coin toss. Florida has lined up for the kickoff and we're ready to get this one underway and they'll be returning this one number 82 takes from the 10 First and ten, ball on the 28-yard line. First and ten. The Bulldogs line up with three wide. Number 59 brings him down for a loss. Well, these guys fast or what? Good job of penetrating and getting to the ball carrier here. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 28. The Bulldogs come out in the ace formation. And down he goes at the 28. Back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Third down and 10. Ball on the 28-yard line. Number 14 comes to the line with three wide. Back to pass. Throws it out there. And it's caught. And they make the stop at the 48. Oh, my. That long game gives them a first down, Coach. A first down and a nice pass play. Knowing you can convert on third and long will open up your offense a little bit more on first and second. Let's see what they do from here. First and ten. Ball right around midfield. Number 32 is a deep back as they line up in the eye. He's looking for his man. Complete. Number 26 brings him down at the 27. They pick up solid yardage there. Yeah, nice little pitch and catch there. The wideout was able to find a little open space in the defense. And the quarterback was able to get him the ball for a good pickup. First and ten. This is the fifth play of this drive. They'll bring in their dime package. 
Drops back to pass. Fires across the middle. Number 26. Bats it down. And an outstanding play defensively. Yeah, he timed it perfectly and managed to get a hand in there to deflect the ball away. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 27th. The Bulldogs line up with three wide. Set. But hot. But hot. But hot. 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 They hand it off. He tries to spin. Number nine with a takedown at the 21. They call his number and he carries for six yards. Third down and four coming up on this one. This is the seventh play of this drive. Number 14 with three wide receivers. Hot, 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 hot. Number 32 on the inside handoff, and they got him for a loss. They came with a blitz that time and got to the tailback for the loss. Fourth down at six. Ball on the 23-yard line. They'll call on the field goal unit here. It's up. And he got it. Georgia lines up for the kickoff. Number 11 and number one back deep to return. Short kickoff. Number 11 fields it at the 11. They'll go to work at the 21. The Gator line up with four wideouts. He drops back, looks, going deep. Number 11 hangs on to it. He finally goes down at the 38. Nice pass play. Good accuracy there by the quarterback and the receiver made a nice catch for a big game. I think the key also was the fact that the pass was thrown very hard. First and 10, ball on the 38 yard line. They come out with four wide out. Number eight, hands off on the delay. A little juke. Number 42, brings him down at the 20. How about that run by this halfback? You know what? When this offense can run the ball like this, watch out. They can score quickly. Watch out is right, because now you got to worry about the run and the pass on defense. It's first and ten. They're threatening inside the 20. Number eight lines up in the shotgun. Number eight still has it. He's looking. Let's it fly. Bat it away. And that was a good defensive play. Yeah, guys, this is because he's in great position to make the play. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 20. Going with the shotgun here. Number 57 with a takedown at the 13-yard line and a pickup of about seven. Third down and three coming up. Ball on the 13. The Gators line up in a goal line formation. Back to pass. He unloads it. 
and it falls incomplete. He was way out in front on that one. Yeah, there was no chance for the tight end to catch up to that ball there. It's fourth down and three yards to go. Ball on the 13-yard line. They'll line it up for the field goal. The kick is up, and it is good. Florida, ready to kick this one off. Kicks it off. Number 82 takes it at the 8. They'll take over at the 23. Florida going with a three-man front. Number 43 tackles him for a loss on the play. And that's the end of the first quarter, and we've got a tie ball game. Now the teams have switched sides, and we're ready for the start of the second quarter. Second down and 14. Ball on the 19. Number 14 comes to the line with three wide. Number 14 back to throw. Looking. Number 32 has it, and he's taken down at the 35. They threw the tailback that time for a nice little pickup. First and 10, ball on the 35. Number 32, alone in the backfield. Back to pass. Looks. He goes downtown. Number 82 with a catch. A good looking pass that time. Well, here they do a nice job of getting the ball out to their speedy receiver. And he shows you that he not only can turn on the Jets, but he's got pretty decent hands as well. It's first and 10. Ball on the 20-yard line. Georgia comes out with an eye formation. To pass. Penalty marker on the field. And this one's going to get intercepted. He's out to the 30. Number 78 brings him down at the 36. Holding, Holding. On, the on the offense. The penalty is the first down. down. First and ten, ball on the 36. Florida lines up in a double tight set. Number five on the handoff, and he's going to lose yards on this one. Three-yard loss there. Second and 13, ball on the 33-yard line. Number eight with three wide receivers. He drops back, lets it go. Number 23 makes the catch. Well, he showed off his arm that time with a heck of a throw. Third down, less than a yard. Ball on the 46. Florida lines up in a goal line set. Number eight makes a handoff. He lobs it over the middle, and it's caught. Brought down at the 32-yard line. They pick up a few yards there on the pass. And I'll tell you what, that fake handoff froze the secondary just enough to allow for the receiver to come up with a nice gain that time. Good call.
First and ten. Ball in the 32. Georgia comes out in a 4-3. Number eight drops the throw. He lets it go. Incomplete. Kirk, just let that one get away from him. Yeah, and you can see he wants that one back. That's a throw this guy can make in his sleep. It's second down and 10 to go. This is the fifth play of this drive. Georgia lines up defensively in a 4-3. Pass. He's rolling left. He throws it. Tipped away. Great defensive play by the cornerback. Third down and ten coming up. This is the sixth play of this drive. Florida comes out in the shotgun. Number eight drops back. He passes it. Picks it off. What an interception that one was. He seemingly came from nowhere and boom, he took the ball. First and ten, ball on the 19. The Gators line up in a 4-3. Number 14, back to pass. He's looking. He's on the run. Complete. And he's tackled at the 19. Nothing going on that one. Second and ten, ball on their own 19. Florida lines up with five defensive backs. Number 14 steps back to pass. Looking. He's going long. And he drops it. Incomplete pass. Number 25, the intended receiver on the play. It's third down and 10. Ball on the 19. The Bulldogs line up in an eye formation. Number 49 on the give. And he's taken down at the 19-yard line. The Gators call for a timeout. And they've got two remaining. Fourth and ten coming up. Ball on their own 19. Number 83, back to punt. Number one, signals for a fair catch. And they make the fair catch at the 38-yard line. Start this drive at the 38. Number eight, back in the gun. Number eight, drops back to pass. Throws it out there. Tackle at the 44. And a nice catch by the wideout that time. It's first and 10. Ball on the 44. The Gator with four receivers, number five, the ball carrier, number 90, with a takedown at the 38-yard line. A nice six-yard gain by the tailback there. Second and four coming up here, ball on the 38. 
Number eight with four wide receiver. Drops back to pass. Rifles this one out to the left. And he's tackled at the 26. The Gators are going to take a timeout. And now they've only got one remaining. First and ten. Ball on the 26. Florida in a five wide set. Number eight drops the throw. He's looking for his man. Number 22 knocks it away. The corner almost came up with a big turnover there. Well, the corner's able to bat this ball away, but he'd love another opportunity there to make the catch. They're not going to like to hear me say this, but that's one of the reasons why they're on defense and not playing offense. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 26. The Gator set up in the gun. Under pressure. He rolls out to the right. He wants it all going long. Third and ten. Sixth play of this drive coming up. Florida lines up in a shotgun set. He drops back. Looks. Deep pass down the left side. Number four. Tips it away. Couldn't find his man in the end zone there. You know, as a quarterback, I can tell you that the defense is always tougher down in the end zone. Fourth down and ten. Ball on the 26. Number 93. Lined up for the field goal, and he's going to need some distance on this one. It's up. They'll get the ball here at the 26-yard line. Florida lines up defensively to 3-4. Number 32 on the give. Give this linebacker a big play in that stat column for an excellent tackle there. Back to throw. Going deep. Swatted away, and he couldn't get the ball in there. No, he couldn't, and I'll tell you why. The defense did a nice job that time of reading the play and following their assignments. It's third down and ten. Ball on the 26. Georgia sets up in the eye. Gives it up the middle. He spins. He tries a stiff arm. And he's taken down at the 38. The Bulldogs call for a timeout. And that was their first timeout. First and ten. Ball on the 38. Florida comes out defensively with six defensive backs. Back to pass. He's looking. Let's it fly. Number 82 hangs on to it. Look at this pass, Coach. When you look at the replay here, the impressive thing about this pass is how quickly he gets the ball from point A to point B. That makes it tough on the old defense to react. And we'll go into halftime here with a score all deadlocked. Georgia will be kicking off to start the second half. He kicks it. Number one fields it in the end zone. Nice spin move. They'll go to work at the 17-yard line. 
Georgia lines up in a dime defense here. Drops back to pass. Looking. He goes downtown. And they couldn't hook up on that one. Number 11, the intended receiver on the play. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own 17. The Gators line up in an I formation. Number eight, back to pass. He unloads it. Number 11 has it. He's out to the 30, to the 40. Knocked out of bounds at the 42-yard line. He threw a bullet in there. Oh, he sure did. We've already talked about his arm strength, but what really impresses me are his mechanics. His passing motion is so fluid. It's first and 10, ball on the 42-yard line. Number eight is back in the gun. He's at midfield. Brought down at the 44-yard line. Here's another look at that fantastic run. First and ten, ball on the 44-yard line. Georgia lines up defensively in a 4-3. Number five on the delay. And he's taken down at the 39. So they get five yards there on the halfback draw. It's second down and five to go. Fifth play of this drive coming up. The Bulldogs line up in a nickelback. Number eight steps back to pass. He lobs it left. Number five with a catch. He's at the 30. Number 96 brings him down at the 22. He caught the screen pass. And he picked up the first down. He can thank his blockers for that. That was a well-timed play, Coach. Boy, that's right, Brad. This is exactly how you should run this play against an overly aggressive defense. Look at how they suckered that defense in on that play. Good execution. It's first and ten. Sixth play of this drive coming up. Florida comes to the line with three wide. Number eight gives it up the middle, and he's tackled at the 16-yard line. They call his number, and he carries for six yards. Second and four coming up here. Ball on the 16-yard line. Florida lines up with three receivers. It's second down and nine to go. Ball on the 21 yard line. Number eight drops back to pass. Fires a bullet over the middle. Number 82 makes a catch. A nice completion to the tight end. A good play here. And the thing that I notice is that he provides a nice big target out there for the quarterback. They line up in the shotgun. Number eight drops to throw. Looks. He's under pressure. He rolls left. 
batted away. The safety comes up with a nice play. Nice job of the safety here, sitting back and playing center field, and then seeing the ball and coming up and simply batting the ball away. Three-man Three front defensively. They'll run the option. Number 48 with a takedown at the four. They'll get six yards. Let's see if they can get it in for the touchdown. Number 96 brings him down at the one-yard line. That'll be a game of three yards. Three. Number 93 in to attempt the short field goal. The kick is up, and it sails through the upright. Ready to kick it away. Number 22 and number 82. Deep to return. Kicks it off. Number 82 takes it at the four. They'll take over at the 23 yard line. Georgia lines up for the shotgun set. And they hit him in the backfield. Defensive lineman was in the backfield on that one. Second and long. Ball on the 13. The Bulldogs come out in a two tight end set. Number 14, back to throw, lets it go. Number eight, hangs on to it, and down he goes at the 34. And Herbie, that was a good looking throw. Yeah, and what impresses me is the composure of this young quarterback. He made a great read, saw the open receiver, and delivered an almost perfect strike. Good looking play. First and 10, ball on their own 34. Georgia lines up in a double tight set. Number 25 with a takedown at the 35-yard line. And that'll bring this quarter to an end. Folks, we've played three, and our score is Florida, six. Georgia, three. And we're ready for the start of the fourth quarter. It's second down and nine to go. Ball on their own 35. Number 14 lines up in the shotgun. He drops back. He pumps once. He lets it go. Number eight has it. Number one brings him down at the 26-yard line. It's first and 10. Fifth play of this drive coming up. They come out with a big set. Off, up the middle. Number 57 with a takedown at the 24. They'll get two on that one. It's second down and eight to go. Sixth play of this drive coming up. Georgia goes with the ace set here. They'll run the option. Fakes it. Laterals back. Ball's loose. Number 59 brings him down at the 17. 
So they almost lost possession there on the option. And they're just happy they recovered it. A turnover would have been very costly. Third and one coming up on this play. Seventh play of this drive coming up. They're crowding that line of scrimmage. Back to pass. He throws it. Number 32 with a catch. And he's taken down at the 15. So they go with a pass on third and short. This is a great play call here. The defense is expecting run, so the offense just dumped it off with a quick pass. First and 10. They're in the red zone. The Bulldogs with four receivers. Number 14, back to pass. He's looking. Deep pass down the right side, and that one's fallen incomplete. And he threw the ball into coverage. Man, I tell you, he's lucky that defense didn't come away with that one. Whew. Second and 10, ball on the 15. Number 14 with three wide receivers. Number 14 steps back to pass. And it's picked off. The defense now has two interceptions in the ball game. And that's two more than the quarterback wanted to throw. Now he's got to go back out there and play smarter football when the offense takes the field again. You're right, Coach. The quarterback has to be able to put that out of his mind and act like it never happened. Which one? First or second interception? I say both. Defense lines up in a 3-4. Five, the ball carrier, a little shake and bake move, and they make the stop at the four yard line. A couple of yards there. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on the four yard line. The Gators line up in a goal line formation. on the handoff. Brought down at the 10. A good six yards there by the fullback. Third and two. Ball on their own 10. The Gators line up in an eye formation. He's in trouble, looking, rifles it over the middle. That last INT gives this defense two on the day. Not a good throw there, the quarterback needs to make better decisions. First and 10, ball on the 27 yard line. The Bulldogs. Line up with three wide. Lofts this one out to the right, and it's caught. And they got him for a loss. Nothing gained on the play. Let's see how the defense handles the no huddle. Drops back to pass. Looks. Chucks it deep down the right side. Hauls it in for the touchdown. And the halfback just exploded for the huge play and the touchdown. If he keeps playing like this, he'll be playing with the big boys on Sunday. And let me tell you something, Kirk. Nowadays, the pros are always looking for running backs who can run and catch. And this guy can do it all. So with less than two to go in the fourth quarter, the score is Georgia 10, Florida 6. Georgia lines up for the kickoff. Number one and number 11 back to return. Kicks it off. Number one fields it at the three. Missed tackle. Kickoff return, 23 yards. Number one on the return. Third 
They'll start this drive at the 26-yard line. Number five lines up as a single back. Number eight drops back to pass. He's looking. He passes it. Incomplete pass. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own 26. Nickel defense. He drops back. Looking. Now he's scrambling. Throws it out there. A heck of a play by the receiver. We talk all the time about the emotions of college football. This play was definitely an emotionally charged play. What a way for the wideout to make a statement in this game. Let's take another look at that pass. First and ten. Ball on the 47-yard line. Florida sets up with four receivers. Back to pass. Looks. Guns it across the middle. Number 11 makes the catch. Drops back to pass. Here comes the pressure. And he can't get away from the pressure. How do they get so much pressure on that play? Well, the reason is simple. The D-line just beat the O-line off the snap. Easy. Number eight drops back. He's looking. Fires across the middle. Complete. Number 22 with a takedown at the 16-yard line. Florida calls a timeout, and they'll have two remaining. Third and eight. Sixth play of this drive coming up. The Bulldog line up with six defensive backs. Number eight drops to throw. He's looking for his man. And it's complete for the touchdown. He hauled in the long pass for the touchdown. This receiver is big time, big play. If this were baseball, he bat cleanup because he's the biggest home run threat they got. And he tacks on the extra point. So with less than a minute to go in the fourth quarter, the score is Florida 13, Georgia 10. Florida ready to kick this one off. Number 82 and number 22 set to return. And they'll be returning this one. Number 22 fields it at the nine. They'll get the ball here at the 23 yard line. Number 32, alone in the backfield. He drops back. He rifles it to the left. Number 82, hangs on to it, and down he goes at the 43-yard line. The offense calls a timeout, and they've got two remaining. First and 10, ball on their own 43. First and 10, ball on the 43-yard line. Number 14 comes to the line with three wide. Back to pass, lets it fly, and it's caught. And he's finally shoved out at the 29. The wideout comes up with a spectacular play. Yeah, and if I'm the coach, I put a big circle around that play so I can remember to call that one again. Good call. It's first and 10, ball of the 29. Georgia comes out with an eye formation. Drops back to pass. And he's going to come up with a sack. The offense calls a timeout. That was their second timeout. It's 
It's second down and 11 to go. Ball on the 30. The Bulldogs line up in an eye formation. He drops back. He unloads it. Complete. Number 59 brings him down at the 23. That reception good for seven yards. And they hurry up to the line. You're right. Sometimes you can catch the defense napping a little bit. Back to pass. He fires right. And it's caught. Tackle at the one-yard line. That's now 300 passing yards for this quarterback, Coach. This guy's having a huge game. Solid. And I'll tell you why. This offensive line has given him plenty of time to throw the ball back there. Set. Cut. 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 Number 14, back to throw. The spike will stop the clock. Number 32, lines up as a single back, drops back to pass, rolling out to the left side, and he's got the touchdown. Guys looked like he was going to throw, but he decided to keep it on the ground. Hey, not a bad decision. Let's look at that run again. Hey, is this kid dangerous or what? Look at him scramble out there. He hits the PAT. So we're down to just a few seconds remaining here in the ball game. And our score, Georgia 17, Florida 13. Georgia is ready to kick it away. Number 11 and number one back ready to return. Kicks it off. Number one, takes it from the six. Kickoff return, 14 yards. Number one on the return. They'll go to work at the 19-yard line. The Bulldogs bring in their dive package. He drops back, looking, throws it deep downfield. Number six has it, and they make the stop at the 44-yard line. It's a done deal here as the final whistle blows. Kirk, what'd you think of this one? Well, this one really could have gone either way. Florida had plenty of chances to win this football game, but it wasn't meant to be today. All you can do now is try to bounce back after a close loss like this. And we thank you kindly for taking part in NCAA Football 2003. Our final score in this game, Georgia 17, Florida 13. We hope you enjoyed this game as much as we enjoyed bringing it to you. So long, everyone.